All right, we are uh, live uh, late night at uh, the at uh, Game Game, Con. Game Hole Con. Thank you. I, every time I get on video, I can't say it. Um, Game Hole Con ten. I'm here with John Thompson of uh, Rook and Rasp, and uh, just came to, uh, the 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 now being fulfilled Gutter Punk. Right. Yeah. 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 All right, we're gonna game jam. Uh, I don't. I forgot. I need to set a t fifteen minute timer, uh, but. Uh, we'll look at the timer down there. This is, this is, we are we've actually commandeered a phone booth room in the hotel. Like, couldn't, there's so much open gaming <laughs> happening in this hotel. I have no space to record. So we're going to record uh, right here. Hopefully we, I'm watching the timer here. Don't get here. chased out. <laughs> what, what's that? Hopefully we don't get chased out. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, this, I'm using my phone. It's a phone call. It's a there phone call. Go. All right. So we got to talk uh, in uh, three more seconds. We're going to get started on this. All right. So, what do you want? What kind of game do you want to make? What kind of game do I want to make? Yeah, this is a game jam. We got game all this stuff on the table. What are we gonna make? Uh, I say uh, right now, I'd say go for space. Space. Space exploration. Space exploration. All right. So I like that as a theme. We haven't done that. We got. I got this con book here. I've got. I've been um, not obsessed, but like I want to use something from the con book. Okay. And this one has all these like spreads of the guests. And so like there's your crew oh, yeah exactly exactly <laughs> so then like I'm like I, and then it's like a dice thing where it's like this, this is just my starting point that I had I'm like you got to die and then you're like rolling on the board and so like you know there's some results or whatever when you roll on the on the list of attendees or not attendees but guests here is that does that do anything for you or do you want to no I say go for that and then uh you know, bringing up the list of guests, you can always uh, utilize like as part of their background story uh, for a situation. Like, uh, either do they have that relevant skill, or is it relevant to the story itself? Yeah, yeah. I, I that sounds great. That sounds great. Do we want to do? Um, uh, do we want to have a significance to the? If we use, I mean, we could use die. I just pulled a random one out. But we could do any of the numbers, we got the D4, which so we don't have many options, or the D12 results well, in a lot of different things, or do we looks do... like the page has eight entries per page. Okay. So you could go D8. So D8, but then like, uh, do the, what are the eights, what do those numbers represent, you know, when you pull out the, if you roll the... You know, outside of this being a table. <laughs> right, but I mean like, you know, if we get eight on this person, or five. Five rolled ah. up on this person. What does the five mean? The the die roll position ended up on this person, this crew member. There we go. Uh, uh, looks like, uh, what, what do you think Gygax here has a skill for? Well, uh, uh, well five, yeah, you're, five words, five descriptions. Ooh, five words. Five words out of the, the, the thing. Okay. Yeah. So I like that. What does what five words are you going to pick out of the Gygax stat block there? Oh, it's Luke Gygax. Luke here, Gygax. Uh, guest at uh, Game Hole Con 10. Uh, how about community and welcome? All right. So he's uh, he's going to be bringing people in. He's like a... Uh, it's like yeah. um, the, the, the human resources Barker. person on the yeah. on the ship. Or you you you're talking Barker, is this like yeah. is this, well, is this the crew going to space or are we yeah. in like a spaceship? Well already? yeah, that or getting passengers. Okay. okay. He's out, out front trying to get people on board. Kind so of. we're outfitting the spaceship for a flight. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So community bring together. Okay. Yeah, right. so that's three words right there out of his background. I have two more. God. He's got some interesting ones in there. <laughs> How would you want to work bully bug in? Maybe that's a, his pet. He has a pet bully bug. Uh, uh, sure, <laughs> of course, of course, of course. Uh, it, it you know comes from you know Sinclair Four. Very much. They're, they're na the native species of Sinclair Four. Or... <laughs> All right. So it, would it just be okay? So we we've demonstrated that there's possibility in that uh, thing. So do mm -hmm. we do then? What what what's what's the challenge? Because right now it's just an activity of like yeah. you know, building. So what what's the challenge? Is there is there a limit to the number of crew? Do then the crew have to do we do something else with either the book? Is there like a building the crew round where that we've gone through and then there's like some then we throw the crew up against a challenge that we either use some other piece for or another part of the book or or what is the what, uh, what is the yeah, you know, what's the other? What's the part of the game? Well, uh, I would say perhaps there is a some sort of threat to the ship overall. Maybe 
And rather than recruiting, maybe you are uh, dethawing them from deep sleep, pulling okay. them out to put together okay. a group to overcome an obstacle. Okay. And then uh, creating obstacles is a big question. Right. What do we do for the obstacle? Is it is um, is it just a matter of the die rolls, or is it like um, maybe it's maybe it's a so the, I don't know what does this sound like. So there's we've got this two page spread. There's another two page spread. So like, is there one crew versus another crew, and then like this is the setup, and then like how would they fare against this crew, and then it's just sort of like a. Uh, I mean, we, there's no they're in conflict, but we, we everything else is made up. Like what are they in conflict about? The second crew is like um, their almost their plot points would be determined by what we pick out of what this crew can do, you know. And then we kind of like I guess if you roll higher or lower, you've equipped the crew more or less competently based on like pulling those those nouns mm -hmm. and word, verbs out. Does that work? Does that work? I think so. Yeah. Or does we need more? I think there might be a need for more. Uh, maybe. If it, there's going to be crew against yeah, crew kind of situation, it's uh, either it's got to be friendly competition or maybe yeah. it's uh, mutiny. Okay, mutiny. I mean that that would be, yeah. So I was I was imagining like one ship and then pirates, space pirates attack, okay. and that's the yeah. second one. So they're in conflict. Like who's gonna win? But like mutiny is the same sort of thing. Yeah. Like there's a just instead you're all on one ship. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, either way, mutiny works. We could do. I mean, all these people are at the same con. It's the mutiny of the con. Um, Thank you. <laughs> all right, so uh, let's try out. Let's build a, another character, a couple characters from each side, I guess, and kind okay. of set them up, and then we'll see if there's any meat to the idea of them being in narrative in conflict, right? All right. Do we want to do? Let's get out a different D8. We got we got more D8s in here. Yeah. Um, we, we can roll them all at once because they'll, they'll, where they fall will matter, I guess. Oh, yeah, no, because they're give all the more enemies to it, right? Um, all right, I think I only have, I think that might be all I have. Those three, those three. So, oh no, I got a fourth. We want to do four, yeah. I don't know if we want to do four and four, go for four and four. All right, all right, all right. So, well, we've already done, we already did one. Let's do three more. Got two and two. Two and two. So we got uh, Matthias, and we got Latia, and we got Mike. 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 All right, so what do we want to pull out for Latia? Latia, maybe? Yeah, Latia Jukis. All right. Oh, wizards, wizards, Ooh. space wizards, and then. Um, <laughs> uh, we've got critical in there as well I see so I'm going to pull out wizards and critical like there's some sort of like skill that is um, you know like a, like that emergency situation like situation critical you know the, the, fly, the red alert right right that's mm -hmm. like that's like expert training in like not going crazy uh, when you've got not going um, not not uh Keeping in focus when you've got the uh, when when the situation is breaking down, like I, the got special training to like keep the cool in crisis situation, and then uh, also wizard powers. I like it. space wizard powers. So for Matthias, uh, I see he's got uh, designer, but I also like uh, free. You know, he's with free league. Yeah, free. Uh, ability to overcome a circumstance, maybe breaking out of something, getting loose of something. Uh, so I think that you know it's a very broad power that, depending on how you approach it, could. Uh, yeah. 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 All right. All right. Excellent. And let's let's Mike. assign Mike Mason some. So five. You know. Because uh, we should be writing down the crew <laughs> ideally, but we're not doing that. Let's toss it all together. So many had some of them that are like legendary, have a reputation already, but uh, uh -huh. a lot to go through. Sure. And of course, I also help sometimes. <laughs> oh, responsible? 
Cartographer. All right, I like that one. That's a good one. Uh, investigator. All right, a, a cartographically inclined, uh, uh, you know, constable of the ship, perhaps, uh, mm -hmm. investigating the mysteries of. Uh, Ooh, intervening period. All right. All the right. Well, you mentioned. Together. You mentioned. Uh, you mentioned. Um, Cryosleep. Are they in control of cryosleep? Like, you know, yeah. too many complaints against you. You're going to have an intervening period of, uh, <laughs> of uh, not being part of the crew. You're going back in the tube. That would definitely be a, a, a punishment. Right, so. right, right. Not that, uh, you know, but uh, it's timeout. It's the ultimate yeah. timeout. It's the timeout. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's... So let's give ourselves maybe, uh, we don't have too much more time, let's give ourselves maybe just two dice to see who the, who the problem mutineers are. Um, All right. Uh, I rolled the other set, so why don't you roll this set? All right, two dice. Oh, man. All right. Ooh, so Mark Miller, three from them, and eight from Jeff Richard. So for three, you, got, you want to do Mark Miller? You want me to look at Jeff? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do, let's do it together like that. Okay. Um, All right. So I'm seeing navel. Here's the, this one does have legendary in it. Um, but I like the. So, got director, creation, teams. You know, this is their threat. He's putting together. Yeah. Uh, he's kind of a mastermind figure. Putting right. together groups come against everyone. Well, and, and this. Uh, it's 40 is one of the words that's in here. So I like the idea of like this, this, he's got 40, 40 people that are working for him. And the navel picking up is like, this is like an officer, that, a person of, of ranking experience in like some sort of, you know, whatever our space armada would have been, you know, like sort of, I'm thinking like former, right? Retired, but like is now like, I don't like the way the ship is being run, so like, I've got experience with this, and I've got 40 people behind me, so. Yeah. Uh, classic, I think maybe being a, a, a known villain previously. Okay. Uh, 14 years, because I've got so many numbers. I've yeah, so you've got eight, eight, you rolled an eight. You rolled, uh, he's you been got... missing for 14 years. Nobody knows what happened oh. to him, so he's returned. Okay, okay. Taking up those this rings. Is ominous. Uh, and then we got two more. Uh, just for fun, if we were building it plot-wise, Red Moon. Oh, Maybe he's trying to take people to a Red Moon. That's like yeah. his ultimate goal. That's like his Yavin 4 or whatever, where yeah. he hangs out. And so, yeah, he wants to take the ship captive and get everybody, uh, bring labor to his plan to work for him. Sure, sure. That's a, that's a threat. So I guess now we, we don't have too much more time here now. So like just a couple minutes to figure out We've set ourselves our protagonist team, kind of, and mm -hmm. our like uh, mutineers on the ship. So, so uh, apologies to all the real people whose names we've used in this <laughs> from this con book. Uh, we, we don't we actually love. think that you're mercenaries or uh, space pirates. Uh, Feel free to use me in any of your games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, who do we think would win uh, in this this contest that we've set up for ourselves? Oh. You know, I would say actually, uh, it'd be interesting, but you know, number wise, you have a lot more to work with on the previous page as far as like overall terms or anything else goes. Right. But just the four characters versus we're trying to yeah. cut it short rather than do the whole thing. So, like, the yeah. two characters that we've set up versus the four characters, mm -hmm. like, can the, the timeout master of the cryo tube, uh, how many, how many of the 40 mutineers can that person take out reliably? How many of how many wizard powers are needed to take out to match the reputation of the the bandit of Red Moon or whatever? Like, I don't, I, <laughs> I, 
I want to be generous to our protagonist and say that like it's a squeaking victory. But like, yeah. what do you think is the? Obviously, we're not. Uh, do we need another mechanic to determine how it actually happens, or well, you're just that right. overall up? goal? Uh, besides just overcoming themselves, overcoming their environment, I think maybe control the ship. Yeah. Uh, because it, even if guys coming up against you with a lot of people, that ultimate control would, I think, be the deciding factor. You know, if you can gain control of the ship, cut off yourself and yeah. everyone else, it would be a possible victory, so. Right. So how do we determine that? Do we put it in the game, or do we leave it up to the just narrative? Uh, Narrative-wise, put those words up against each other. I think be okay, okay, so you'd, you'd kind of like, Some once you'd set up your two the, sides, yeah. you would... You would Kind of like what I was doing with the, you know, the, the, you know, the one guy that's got access to the cryo sleep pods or whatever. Can you use that? Um, but how much weight would that? How much weight does it give? You know, like I don't know. We have to actually talk it through. But I think we're out of time here. We got. Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's. I think that's close to our time. I think that's where we started. But uh, all right. So we did kind of a game we kind of designed a game <laughs> like what do we think do we like this game does it need more development is it this... needs more development <laughs> yeah obviously it needs more development but, <laughs> but does it have should we develop it more is it like um is it have legs or have we gone down a is this a, a fun idea that uh, uh it, it could it could be reworked to make it to a fun idea up front i think it, it's novelty yeah it, yeah it's novelty of course so. like here we are uh Playing it. <laughs> Playing with real people, you know? Yeah. We, uh, Imagine opening up a phone book and doing this. <laughs> and so just to kind of, you know, we've, we've done the jam, so now we're kind of reviewing the jam. Uh, would we do, like, could you have a sort of a proper play mat option, like print out a character sheet that had all these characters on it that had, you know, whatever, more fake, fake characters that weren't real people but had mm-hmm. the same backstories written about who they were that you're then, you throw the dice down on and wherever the dice fall, but it, it wouldn't necessarily be, it would be designed to be used that way, right? So it, it would have the rings or whatever, and maybe they have lines connecting them so that they know each other, and then that gives you the opportunity to set up rivalries and yeah. between the characters if you roll, you know, like who yeah. their allies are or whatever, stuff like that. I mean, you could you could make something in this style that was more fit to purpose. I definitely think it could be built towards something more. I I like I'm, I've already got more ideas already. Oh yeah, ads, yeah. So. All right. Well, we'll turn off the camera and we'll talk about them. <laughs> and if we ever do it, you'll see it on uh, one of our two feeds. Uh, so thank you for watching, uh, John. Tell everybody where they can find more about you if they want to see yeah. some of the the games you've taken more than fifteen minutes to design. Oh, well, uh, rookandrasp.com yeah. is our main website, and uh, right there you can click on the Gutter Punk uh, Universe logo, and it'll take you to where you can learn more about the game, watch actual plays, and read articles about it. Yeah, and I mean, that, the Rook and Rasp, that's like a whole thing. Tell, oh, us, yeah. tell us what the Rook and Rasp well, is. Uh, Rook and Rasp is uh, my partner and I, uh, our company, where we do actual plays is our main thing, but pretty much it's all about bringing together a community of, you know, everyone fans, creators, whoever, uh, to kind of really make a good community. People understand that people are people and uh, humanize the industry because a lot of times people look at the people involved, uh, the creators, and are just like, you know, the, the demands you need from Kickstarters, you know how people can be. And I'm like, how about a little bit of humanity? How about mm-hmm. you realize that we're all on the same field, a lot of game, you know, game creators usually start as gamers. Almost always. And, you know, I, I've met one. Oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, you know, let's have a place where we can all just come together and enjoy. And uh, really, it's become a very positive and uplifting community. Yeah. So, so and where's the main way in for that? Like, is it on the Twitch? I, I, so, I know some of the answers. Your stuff's on Twitch, your stuff's yeah. on YouTube, but where's the, like... The biggest portion of our drive is our Discord. So, you know, we're, we're a pretty small Discord, but uh, we have tons of discussion daily uh, just people living their lives and enjoying each other's company and we put together tables from there so awesome yeah. awesome well thank you so much for spending this time with me to make a little game and uh and thank you for all you do uh you and roxy both on on rook and rask it's a it's a great place to be part of your community well thank you yeah all right so thank you for watching and uh catch us again on the the next uh the, the next uh, the, at the next con <laughs>